Now, I know that you do not usually see SPG games. This is the GW Panther, the Tiger, sorry, of the Tier 8. You should watch, actually, this one. Because it's, you know, it's one of a kind. You do not get those games on a regular basis. Let's see what we actually did. Now, you know, and I know, that usually a game like this cannot go wrong, right? Well, right. Because, because we were the ones that actually changed... The dynamics of the games. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna share some basics of SPGs and I'm, I'm obviously you know at the start I'm moving. In this map, what do we have? We have tier tens. Essentially, what you need as a tier eight SPG is the higher the match, the higher in tiers. You absolutely do not care. Usually, when it's tier ten, it probably it will take some some extra time. You know, it it will take a bit more now. I'm trying to shoot whatever I can. I can tell you that this game at the beginning is just an average SPG game. Uh, I'm trying my best. My reload is 37 seconds and I'm trying to clutch this guy, but you know, to no avail. So I keep that up. Kronwagen going in, not really not going to shoot here because you know what? We need two, two and a half almost seconds, but look at this guy. This guy made a mistake and he goes, he wants to go uphill. Oh, not a problem. Look at this. So that's pretty much what you need to be doing. Now, I, this was a bit of a lucky shot, one would say, because why? Well, he was on the move. He was super far, but that was not out of the options. You know, landing that shot was not out of an, of, uh, of discussion. So that, that was very good. Now, I try to go and move the cursor as fast as I can for obvious reasons. What do we need to do? We need to shoot the STB Kahnwagen. They are the most dangerous vehicles in this map in this scenario that we are in and this is exactly what you need by the way this is not a good shot even though we managed to stun the guy why should we and what why should we do this exactly because in those situations you need to identify the biggest threats to your side to your team in this case, we have two hull down vehicles. This is Kahnwagen and STB. They're top tiers. We have three top tiers in total. E100 is out of the equation. We cannot shoot him. Look at this. This could have been a three way shot, but game said, you know what? How about you don't have it or do have it? Well, we didn't have it, but if, if that would have been a three way shot, it would have been three stunts plus 60 seconds. And we, okay, we get some STB stun, which, which is very, very good. Now, E100 is making a play. This is the guy we need to be aiming now for because the rest of them, they're down to, you know, pr pretty much low HP. They're going to be playing a lot, you know, more cautiously. So, E100 is out in the open. So, tracking him, stunning him will give our E100 the option to do a bit more. By the way, our E100 was a bit aggressive and with probably not the best crew around. Uh, that was a bad shot because I was a bit greedy, a bit impatient i thought he was going to launch but it actually did not also stunning vehicles tracking vehicles you do not have to do too much damage it is okay by the way i think a safer way to play an spg is probably having like uh you know the number two shells because they have a smaller burst radius i think it would be best to maybe have like two of them i think the safest option would be to have none of them in all honesty, you can score a lot better. By the way, this guy is so mobile, it's not even funny, and it's not even my problem. Now, 332 in this guy was very, very nice. You should not be having um, shots that they cannot, you know, do splash damage because your allies might pop in, they might have a track. Look at this, look at this. By the way, I just saw that 432, he could have destroyed E100 and Kronwagen. Kronwagen now is on the reload. Now, this would have been the chance for them to push, but look what's happening here. E75 woke up, and yeah, 430, you, you should have gone closer when they were over there, but now you're, what? Tried to save him, uh, that was a bad shot. Bad shot, I mean, it was a bit in a rush. The, the game, so far, it's 6 to 4, we're winning. I have, I have done 1.6k, if I do one more k, man, I'm gonna be... In a very very well position this is the hundred percent to mark this vehicle 
who has you know deep dark thoughts to mark an SVG. I don't know who does. I I'm 90% right now, so I, you know it doesn't matter too much for me. Look at this. This would have been a very very nice shot if only man. If only. Look at this. It's like the gun sometimes is throwing you. You have 37 seconds of a reload now. What is very important, we know that even having the current volume are pushing. Now, this is where you need to take this thing seriously because if you see this, you can see that this is bloody open from all sides. Is 230 or CS53 going to hold the current volume and two super heavies? No, they're gonna cry and they're gonna say, please, daddy, don't do it. I, I will be a good boy, but uh, jokes aside, that's not gonna be the case. Now, look at this. Is the gun gonna work for me again? Who knows? Well, nobody knows because we simply don't know what happened. I doubt we were hit. Look at this. That was a crucial shot. If this guy had managed to remove me, I can guarantee you we would have lost the game. I can guarantee you we would have lost the game. Now, sometimes, look at this. Did you did you manage to see what actually happened in the Sioux 14 2? Now, at the time. In full disclosure, full disclosure, I did not pay attention to that. I should have. My goal as an SPG is to be paying attention. I do not have to hide my lower plate. I do not go, have to go hold down. The only thing that I need to do is remove people like this. And let me tell you, man, let me tell you, Conway was just number one. We're going to have to do two more blind shots and, you know, I think it was a matter of placing our uh, shots in a proper way. By the way, Su 14.2 popped again. I'm like, is it really here? Now, this is what I'm thinking. Is it really here? That is the thought that came to me. Now, as you can see, we have n nobody else to shoot. But we can shoot Su uh, 14.2, man. We can shoot this guy. Now, we might have two blind shots right in positions. Someone would say, eh, they were easy. You should pay attention to what's going to happen now. Now, now this is where you need to be an active mother tracker. You should help your team because if you do not help your team when the time is needed and you're like, oh, I'm going to be in the back, you will cry every time. Now, look at this. Look at this. This guy shot. I'm still reloading. I'm like, oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. Look at this. Look at this. Ongo. 537 plus a tracking shot. Did T55 said thank you there? He didn't say thank you because he was not happy. What did we just do, man? What did we just do? We just won ourselves a full T55A that in any other case, we might have been dead. CS53, by the way, he was just shot away then. A shot away so this is to stress out that in times of need you are more disposable than your you know than your medium tanks you should at least take a shot for them try to mitigate the damage by the way you see the rm is i'm like is the rm here i'm like okay not gonna shoot not gonna shoot one shot that was probably the standard b but 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 standard b got another shot in now there is another shot coming, and that was the RM. Now, look at this. I'm asking, guys, where is the RM? Where is the V2? What do they say? What do they say? Oh, you cannot see it. Well, there it is. T95 says the RM is there, but what? RM is not bloody there. RM is where I say it is. He could not have been shooting from that position. He could have, but... I would say, I would stress out that he would have been spotted. So, at this moment, I'm saying, if we win, you owe me the game. And that is pretty much the case. No one is playing SPGs like this. Like, the 99.9% .9 they do not play SPGs like this. Now, this is hand-picking a game, but in all of those scenarios, we did things that we should have been doing. Look at this, man. Look at this. Thank you. If that's not the the best game on how to carry a game with an SPG, I do not know what is. I do not know what is. That is the epitome of how you should be playing your SPG. Yes, sometimes you're gonna get Himmelsdorf. 
Sometimes you're gonna be shooting man and the gun will not work. It's a bloody SPG. You're in the back, you're assisting. Use your brains to assist whenever and whenever you are needed. This is the case. This is the these are the SPGs. People cry about them, but if they were not in place, people would be camping for days and days and days. So this is how you win a game with an SPG. Let's see the statistics, although they're not very impressive. But 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 you saw this is a nice, didn't you? Oh boy. Uh I was not expecting this to be this this epic, this amazing. Uh, considering when uh we're on an SPG, but look at this. 2k damage, damage not so much, about 1.2 assisted, affirmative, some extra XP, finishing first, carrying the game. Sirs, nobody said a thank you, man. Well, they could cry a bit, but the rest, they did not even say a thank you. By the way, I have some SPG missions that I want to complete. Not the easiest thing, <laughs> but it is what it is. So, I'm glad you enjoyed this one. Please do leave a like and subscribe. I know SPGs. They're not the same, but they're not bad. They're not bad, especially when you complete mission to do extra stuff. So cheers until the next one.